Hello listeners, we continue with our last leg of the unit pilgrimage of block 5 TS2 for CTS course in tourism. The objectives covered in this unit would be the major religions of the world which is Islam, Christianity and Judaism. We are also going to discuss the popular pilgrimage centers and the tourism spots related with these religions and we'll discuss the importance and facilities available at some of these tourist sites in India. Islam. The origin of Islam is placed around 610 century when Muhammad, a highly spiritual and religious man who spent months in praying and self-contemplation in a secluded cave near the town of Mecca. He was thought to have received divine messages. The words were first recited by Muhammad, later his disciples, and then recorded as text, which came to be known as Holy Quran. Thus, followers of Islam consider the Quran not the work of Muhammad, but as direct revelations from Allah. Islam, which literally means submission, was founded on the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad as an expression of surrender to the will of Allah. The Quran, the sacred text of Islam, contains the teachings of the Prince, Prophet that were revealed to him from Allah. Today, Islam remains one of the most flourishing religions in the world. It is the second largest with around 23% of the earth's population identifying as Muslims. The main teaching in the Quran is the belief in Allah, the one and the true God. The followers of Islam are traditionally divided into two main branches, the Sunnis and the Shias. Each group, although followed the same religion, they interpret certain events and teachings of Islam differently. The annual pilgrimage of Muslims to Makkah in the West Central Arabia is known by the term Hajj. Prophet Muhammad incorporated the pre-Islamic rite of pilgrimage of early Arabia to Kaaba as one of the five pillars of faith in Islam. The other four being the profession of faith in Allah and His Apostle, prayer or performance of divine worship five times a day, fasting during the month of Ramadan, and compulsory giving away alms to the poor and needy known as Zakat. In Islam, pilgrimage to Makkah, which is Hajj, is the fifth and the final pillar of Islam and is considered as the most important representation of Islamic faith and unity. Other river sites for Muslims include Medina, the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem and the holy city of Karbala in Iraq. The Hajj is a spiritual journey that every Muslim acquires to accomplish at least once in a lifetime. The significance of the Hajj is rooted in the life story, faith, commitment and sacrifice of the Prophet Muhammad and is carried by every financially and physically able adult Muslim to elevate their spiritual status. Those who complete the Hajj will be entitled to as called as Haji or Haja. This honorific title indicates socially perceived status enhancement and is a recognition by one's peers that a sacred duty has been performed and is considered as spiritual achievement in Islam. The most important place to visit during the Hajj are Makkah, 
where the first shrine was built and the Kaaba stands, followed by the Prophet Muhammad, Prophet's Mosque in Medina. Mecca and Medina in the Hijaj are the two holiest cities in Islam, unanimous among all sects. In the Islamic tradition, the Kaaba in Mecca is considered the holy city followed by the Prophet Mosque in Medina. And apart from that, Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem is held in high esteem. The Sufi circuit in India includes Delhi, Agra, Fatehpur Sikri, Bijapur, Shirdi, Aurangabad, and the Awadh region, besides the Urs at Dargahs in Jammu and Kashmir. Punjab, Haryana, and Uttarakhand are the popular pilgrimage for Dargahs in India. The other religion we are going to talk about is Christianity. Christians recognize pilgrimage as one of the earliest traditions or an essential physical demonstration of the spiritual faith in Jesus Christ's life, death and resurrection. Pilgrimage or making one's way to holy places is regarded by devout Christians as an aesthetic practice that lets the Christians find salvation through the difficulties and dangers of temporary exile. It also means coming in contact with that which is divine and obtaining grace or the blessings of the supernatural power which is associated with the pilgrimage site. For Christians, the land of Israel is considered holy because of its association with the birth, ministry, crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, whom Christians regard as the Saviour or Messiah. The Holy Land of Israel has always been the main destination of Christian pilgrims from all over the world. Pilgrimages to the Holy Land and its sites, especially to Jerusalem, Bethlehem, Nazareth, are known to have taken place as far back as the 2nd century. Roman Catholics and Protestants constitute the majority of the incoming pilgrims to the Holy Land as well as most other Christians of the world. Many Christians believe that undertaking a pilgrimage to Jerusalem can bring them closer to the experience of Jesus as he approached his death. These are the two sects in Christianity, the first being the Catholic pilgrims. They tend to travel solely to biblical and historical sites and their tours are strictly organized in terms of number of sites to be visited and the requirement to participate in daily prayers and mass. The other sect is of Protestants. They are more interested in the land of the Bible as a whole and the religious journeys are flexible with the requirements for prayers. Christian pilgrims traditionally journey to Jerusalem, which involves visit to places mentioned in the Old and the New Testament and important places related to the life of Christ. Rome is also visited as devotees visit the tombs and relics of various saints such as Peter and Paul and are venerated during their pilgrimage in, to Rome. Santiago de Compostela journey to Santiago is done in order to visit the tomb of Saint James who was the first of Jesus' disciples to die a martyr's death. In India, the popular Christian circuit is run by IRCTC and it includes in its package the popular churches of Goa, Kerala, Tamil Nadu as its pilgrimage tour. A Christian pilgrim 
suffering from an ailment in any part of the body offers a wax replica of the affected organ to St. Mary at Bandra, which is located in Mumbai. The walking pilgrimage of the Christians is very popular from Havrar to Bandel to visit Our Lady of Happy Void Church, which is also very popular in India. The other religion we are going to talk about is Judaism. Judaism is the world's oldest monotheistic religion, which is dating back nearly to 4,000 years. God first revealed himself to a Hebrew man named Abraham, who became known as the founder of Judaism. Jews believe that God made a special covenant with Abraham and that he and his descendants who were the chosen people. The beliefs of Judaism are number one, the Jewish people worship in holy places known as synagogues and the spiritual leaders are called rabbis. The six-pointed star of David is the symbol of Judaism. Torah, the religious life is guided by the commandments written in Torah, which outlines the laws for Jews to follow. The followers of Judaism believe in one God who revealed himself through ancient prophets. They practice circumcision and Sabbath observance. The present day Judaism has three main expressions. The first one being the Orthodox Jews. The Orthodox Jews follow the traditional faith and practice with great seriousness. They follow a strict kosher diet and keep the Sabbath with care. The second one being the conservative Judaism. The conservatives developed in the mid 18th century and holds the oral law which is known as Talmud to be authoritative and follow most traditional practices. The third one being the reformed Jews who do not hold the oral law that is Talmud to be a divine revelation and they emphasize ethical and moral teachings. Jerusalem is the holy city in Judaism and the spiritual pilgrimage center of the Jewish people since the 10th century BCE. Now we will discuss the case studies of two popular sacred sites in India. The first one being the Dargah of Monudin Chisti at Ajmer. The Dargah of Monudin Chisti was the the Chisti was the founder of Chisti Sisala in India. He migrated to India as early as 1192 AD and finally settled in Ajmer in about 1206 AD and died in 1236 AD. He won the respect of both Hindus and Muslims on account of his tolerant attitude towards the non-Muslims. The Monadin Chisti's Dargah was venerated as an important pilgrim center as early as the Sultanate period. We get the first recorded evidence of Sultan Muhammad bin Tughlaq visiting the Dargah. Since then, the tradition of Turkish Mughal emperors paying visit regularly to the Dargah continued unabated. Akbar is reported to have visited the Dargah 14 times to ask for a child. By 17th century, the Dargah was an impressive establishment with a full-fledged staff financed by the endowments and offerings. There was already accommodation available for the staff and the facilities for the pilgrims. The Muslim of Monadin Chisti was built by Husleen Nagori. Later, the entrance gate Buland Darwaza was added by Sultan Gyasuddin Khalji. Many structures were added later on by the Mughal emperors Akbar, Shah Jahan, and Jahan Ara Begum. Inside the Dargah, there are two massive iron cooking pots known as Degs. The larger one has the capacity to cook 70 mons of rice and the smaller one, 28 mons rice can be cooked. Besides, Dargah administration distributes food to the destitute 
twice daily from the langar khana in ordinary days people offer cash and jewelry as endowments into the dags the tomb complex has the tomb of the water carrier known as bhishti who had saved humayun's life every year urs are celebrated on the anniversary of the monudin chisti's death at that time ajmer is packed with devotees from far flung places amidst the chanting of songs people pay homage to the sufi saint the statistics show that in 1879 nearly 2000 pilgrims attended the urs while the figure touched to 3 lakh mark in the year 2016 the devotees bow and kiss the tomb prayers are offered and devotees also tie the strings to the pierced marble screens that surround the mausoleum in the belief that their desires will be fulfilled these strings are removed when the prayers are answered the devotees scatter rose petals over the tomb and most of the devotees present a chador at the mausoleum they circumambulate the mausoleum and men recite quran inside the mausoleum while women perform at arhat e noor a place adjacent to the mausoleum during akbar's reign a mutawalli a secular administrator was appointed to administer the the shrine in 1955 darga khwaja sahib act was passed and the central government appointed 5 to 9 members from within the hanafi muslims to administer the affairs of the shrine the city is very approachable and is connected to major cities of india like delhi agra jaipur ahmedabad udaipur and jodhpur by road and rail the nearest airport however is jaipur which is about 140 kilometers from the ajmer the climate of ajmer is quite hot in the summers while it remains chilly cold in the winters the accommodation is provided by the rajasthan tourism development corporation and many other private players also are part of the accommodation sector another case study we are covering is tirupati balaji which is situated in tamil nadu tirupati balaji temple belongs to lord venkateshwarya it has in fact a chain of temple complexes and tirths both on the top of the hill as well as the foot hills in the south the deity is known as the shrinivas perumal while in the north it is commonly known as balaji the main deity that is venkateshwara is placed at the top of the trimula hills while his consort is worshiped at the foot of the hills the temple was patronized by pallavas cholas pandyas the vijayanagar rulers and later by the kings of mysore the trimula temple is a masterpiece of dravidian architecture with heavily carved gopurams with lofty gates facing east there are in total 3 gopurams the entrance gate is that of bronze while the second one is of silver and the third one which faces the sanctum is of gold inside the sanctum resides the huge black stone image of lord venkateshwarya the idol has the attributes of both vishnu and shiva a happy compromise appealing to both vaishwanites and shivites the famous chandigiri hills are just 11 kilometers away from the tripati town the shrine is administered by a trust it is an autonomous body but few of its members are appointed by the state government it has a big organization and is administered on a huge scale the trust is responsible for all acts and for any inquiry or help one can contact the trust's office pilgrims offer silk cloth to the deity they also donate valuable articles and jewelry also the transport is well connected to this sacred site by air rail 
and road. The air routes connected it with it are from Hyderabad, Madras, Vijayawada and Bengaluru. While it is connected with almost all the major state capitals by railways. Road transport is also fairly well developed. The State Tourism Corporation buses connect almost all the nearby districts. Within Tirupati, autos, taxis and buses are available at reasonable rates. One can get buses from Tirumala every minute. Accommodation is also taken care of by the trust as there are three dharamshalas which are established by them and Tirumala Hills where free lodging is provided to the devotees. Within the complex, food is also distributed free of cost by the trust. Besides, there are a number of cottages, guest houses, hotels and tourist rest houses for a comfortable stay. Andhra Pradesh Government Tourist Information Officer sits as the main caretaker for the trust. Besides, Andhra Pradesh Government has information centers at Hyderabad, Goa, New Delhi, Vijayawada, Warangal, Vishakhapatnam and Naga Arjuna Sagar from where information can be collected about the sacred site. The devotees also indulge into shopping both at the Trimula Hills as well as the Tripati Temple where there are a number of shops from where various handicrafts of Andhra Pradesh can be bought. Andhra Pradesh is famous for its fine silk and cotton sarees. These are available at Andhra Pradesh government authorized showrooms like Lipakchi. The case study of Vaishnav Devi Mata Shrine. The Vaishnav Devi Mata Shrine is a popular shrine in the heart of Jammu city. Devotees throughout the year visit the shrine and take the blessings of the goddess. The Vaishnav Devi Trust is responsible for making a beautiful infrastructure in the past two years where there have been two roads for accessibility to the shrine which has been constructed. The battery cars, the gondola rides are also possible for the old, for the children and for somebody who is short of time. This is one sacred shrine among Hindus who is popular throughout the year and the popular days become more popular or more popular among the devotees during the Navratras. The Indian Railways in collaboration with IRCTC has provided a station which is at Katra which is a stone throw away distance from the place from where the devotees would start their climb on. Few years back the devotees had to come to Jammu which was the only rail connection and the devotees had to take a two hour ride to reach the Katra station. The trust has made arrangements for the food for the devotees which is at a very nominal cost. The medical centers are available. The facility of ambulance is also there and the entire path has been made concrete with the sheds where people do not suffer even in the extreme weathers of monsoons and hot climate. People also go to Patni Top which is uh, another popular destination people like to cover along with Mata Vaishnu Devi Shrine. The shopping is also at the list. The devotees also have a long shopping list when they visit Jammu. They love to buy the shawls, the dry fruits which is very popular of the state. Now let's talk about the key words in the unit we have come across. The first one being Sufism. Sufism is mystical Islamic belief and practice in which Muslims seek to find the truth of divine love and knowledge through direct personal experience of God. Urs. Urs are the anniversary celebrations at a Darga. For example, we talked about Moulidin Chishti Darga in Ajmer. Resurrection. 
the term is related with Christianity where it is considered that when the Christ rose from the dead is called resurrection. The Old and New Testaments Christian Bible has two sections the Old Testaments which is a Jews belief and the New Testament which is believed by Christians. Shabbat Shabbat is the day of religious observance and abstinence from work and is kept by Jews. Monotheist A religious system in which the believer worships only one God Synagogues Synagogues are the worship places for the Jews. The next one is Torah. Torah is the law of God as revealed to Moses and recorded in the first five books of the Hebrew scriptures. Now let us sum up the unit. In this chapter, we covered the three popular religions of the world, which were Christianity, Islam and Judaism. It is said that Christianity and Islam emerged from Judaism. We also discussed the important practices and rituals of the three religions. How these, which particular sacred sites are popular among their devotees. And we also took the case study of three popular shrines or the sacred sites in India. The first one being the Monudin Chishti Darga at Ajmer. The second one being the Triputi Balaji Temple in Andhra Pradesh. And the third one, the Vaishnu Devi Mata Shrine, which is located in Jammu. Also, we discussed and focused on all the pilgrimage centers in India and abroad, which are popular and unique for the three religions we discussed, where we found out that Muslims are mandated to visit Makkah once in their lifetime. Christians and people who follow Judaism love to make their pilgrimage to Israel, Bethlehem, Jerusalem and Nazareth, the place which is related with Jesus Christ. Thank you very much.